And we're going to find the center of mass in a two-dimension case. So we start off with this example here. We take this function. It's a turning down parabola, negative x squared plus 4x, and graph it over here. Graphs like this, comes down here. And then we consider this region closed off here. Um, just just this part here, not, not any of the outside. So we're talking about here. All this in there. Okay, so that's your parabola area. Okay, and that forms, if you were to cut that out of uh, a sheet of cardboard or hard stock uh, paper, you're going to get an object. Now that object has uniform density uh, because it's just a piece of cardboard. And that density is just delta kilograms per meter squared. Okay, so the question is, where would you put the balance point in here so that it'll balance on your finger from beneath? So picture this is up in the air, this parabola area, and if you put your finger here and try to balance this on top of your finger at this point, you can pretty much tell that it's going to fall over going that way. So somewhere in here is the perfect spot somewhere, you know, maybe around in there somewhere. Okay, so let's figure this out. For the x coordinate of the center of mass, we consider a strip of area located at an x location and we try to find the mass of that strip. So for a delta x wide strip at an x location, the mass is the density kilograms per meter squared, so it's delta kilograms per meter squared times the area, because we're talking about square meters here, area of the strip. So that happens to be the height of f of x at x times the delta x. And the uh, meter squared cancel out, and you get kilograms, so that's mass. So from our previous formulas, the center of mass x coordinate is going to be the sum of locations times their mass divided by sum of the masses. So you put that in here, it looks like this. Location times the mass over the sum of the masses. Put in a function that we have for f of x. factor out the delta constant um, density throughout, work out these integrals. I worked that out in Wolfram Alpha and got 64 thirds over 32 thirds, which is 64 32, which is 2. And that makes sense. If you're going to balance this cutout, you're certainly going to put it your finger on this x equals 2 line right here, somewhere here. You're not going to put it over here, and you're not going to put it over there. You're going to put it somewhere on this line. So the x coordinate is taken care of, somewhere here. Now we've got to find the y coordinate. Okay, so we're trying to find y bar here, which is center of mass in the y direction. Okay, so at a y location, you have a strip here of area. And that's going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out how wide that strip is. It certainly has delta x um, height, but how wide is it? 
So the formula for the original function is this. So if you go and try to solve it for x, because you're solving for these x locations down here, here and down here, so you can see how wide it is across there. Okay, so we're going to solve for x. So we maneuver it into this form by just call it a simple piece of algebra. Then we use the quadratic formula in x so to get x's. And of course your your c there is y. So that's why the formulas fall out this way. And you get this answer for x. The one on the right has the plus. The one on the left has the minus. And you subtract them to see how far apart they are. Subtract to see the difference. Well, when you do that, 4 over 2 cancels out with 4 over 2. And square root of this square root over 2 adds up with this square root over 2. And you get one full square root. So then the mass of the strip is your density kilograms per meter squared and here's your um, area of the strip how wide it was times how high it is which is delta y put that into the center of mass formula here is your location a y location here is your mass location times mass over sum of masses. It happens to go from 0 to 4, 2 on the graph that you see above. That happens to go from 0 to 4. It's not always the same as the x. The delta constant factors out, cancels out. You run, work these integrals and you get 256.15, so it's 32 thirds, which works all out to 8 fifths which is 1.6 meters. So then you go over to here and you say the final center of mass is the x coordinate and the y coordinate which is about 2 comma 1.6 so you have your 2 and this is about 1.6 right there so there's your point and if you put your if you cut the rest of this off so this is out and that's all out you're just talking about this area here to be cut out of cardboard and if you were to put your finger right there and it would balance on the tip of your finger okay so your assignment this due uh, two days after this was assigned to take notes on this video for three points in the 15% category, make an actual cutout of a parabola area with equation of your choosing. It can open up, it can open down, it just can't be the one above. It can be any one but that. Uh, you know your materials are going to have a uniform density. Plot the points from your parabola onto your paper or your cardboard. Use a ruler so you can get it pretty exact. Do the center of mass calculations and locate the center of mass on the cutout. Note, locate the center of mass using the XY axes, then cut out the parabola shape area. Because if you cut it out before, then you have no way of marking anything off on the actual drawing. So draw a dot at the location of the center of mass and then see if your cutout um, balances on your finger there. It should if you did the calculations right. Make the cutout large enough to balance nicely on your fingertip. So you know, don't, don't make it so small that it just falls off. Put your name on the cutout and hand in two days after you are assigned to view this video.